that the wisest people on earth is Africans. And that is why I want you to listen carefully to this African proverb. Number one, he says, a man who left his pot on wash should not be surprised when his soup starts to burn. Number two, a man who brought a ant infested wood home will not be surprised if he does not have a good night's sleep. And number three, he who throws stones in the marketplace will not be surprised if the stone hit his mother or auntie. So, we we'll say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ine TV. We are global and social commentator. You just saw the picture I posted here. This is the convo of Edo State Governor, Governor Nogase Obaseke, stuck in a portion of Bini Saple Road. That portion has been bad for over four years. Over four years. And the people in that area have protested, have blocked the road, have done a barricade, have done everything to draw the attention of the governor. It's not only, that is not the only spot that is bad. But we are just saying this because of the news that have gone viral, the video that went viral, that the convoy of the governor was stuck in that portion of Benin Saple Road that is so bad. First of all, let us look at who is the number one citizen of Edo State. Is the governor, Godwin Nogase Obaseke. Now, let us look what is the function of governors. First of all, I don't want to. I I don't want you to take my word for it. What we want to search, let's see what's the function. In a simple term, if you Google it, you will know. It's the system by which entitled are directed and controlled. It is concerned with structure and process for decision making, accountability, control, and behavior at the top of an entity. This one, now big English. For for let us go further to see the aim. What is the aim, the purpose of governance? Let us look. Governance has been defined to refer to the structure and process that are designed to ensure accountability, transparency, responsiveness, rule of law, stability, equality, and inclusiveness, empowerment, and broad-based participation. For this one, we will talk in big English. So just simplify them. The aim of governance or in a state, the aim of a governor is the welfare of the people. Now how he will take down the process, it has to be accountable, transparency, and it has to be equity. In a simple sense, welfare of the people is to provide welfare of the people. So, I have given up on Ambassador a long time ago. I just go back and watch my video. I made over 15 videos to call his attention. But it looks as if he's head bent on what he is doing. Anti people policies. That is what I call his government. So I don't want to talk much about Obaseke again. But what happened is because of a lot of people have been calling me, how sending videos. How do you see this issue that this convoy was stuck in the mud in the, in the, in the back portion of that Benin Saple Road? I didn't want to say anything. I still didn't want to say anything. Until Obaseki came out. First of all, he said that's a federal road. That he, he has appealed to the federal government to do that road. That it looks as if the federal government is playing politics on the states. It's true. Perfectly true. It's a federal road. The government is playing politics on the states. I agree. I agree totally with Obaseke. But the question I want to ask, my dear governor, let me tell you why I gave up on Obaseke first. After four years, he granted an interview with Shio of Channels. And Shio asked him, this is your first four years. What will you say you have done? And my governor said, nothing. A man who does nothing in four years. <laughs> so that was when I, I gave up on him. Now I am praying. He's left with a year and a half. I'm just praying that God, please let this man go away and bring another governor to us because there is no governor 
that will be as washed as of Azeki. None. No governor. In fact, he is the worst of governor that Edo State has ever produced. He is the worst governor we've ever produced. Anyhow, you look at it. So, first of all, he said those two things, and I agree with him. It's a federal road, and that the federal government is playing politics on the state. I agree. But my question to Obaseki is, I live very close to Oweli Road, in fact, behind the barrack, the police mobile barrack. That was where I lived for about three or four years, because that was where my mom had her first house. Obaseki, no fully where that federal things are left for the federal government. The police as an institution is not for the state, it's for the federal. In fact, a lot of state governors are pushing the federal government that they want state police. That is another debate for another day. So this barrack is owned by the federal government. About before the election, before the second term, Obaseki went to that barrack and tie all the roads inside that barrack. Like I said before, I live behind the barrack, so I know what I'm talking about. Obaseki went there and tied the road behind, inside the barrack, tied it with quota. Normally, the barrack does not even need a, a tied road. An edge road inside will be okay, but if there's money, fine. Obaseki went and tied that road. So my question to Obaseki, why did you go and tie a federal road? Because the roads inside the police barrack belong to the police and police is federal. Why did you go and tie the police road? Why well road that is just adjacent to this barrack is a no-go area? At the beginning, close to Ogida, it's poor. In the middle, there's a portion that is very close to Tezako. I don't know if Tezako is still there because things like that will crumble a business. We used to call that place Agibo. So why will you leave a state road that you went to tie the road inside a federal institution? So it was good that you went to tie a federal institution road that was inside the barrack, Ogida barrack. That is where we have Mopo, is it Mopo? I'm not too sure now, but it's a very big barrack. We have the docks section, the mobile section, the anti-crime section, the very big barrack, you know? So, my governor, you went to tie a federal institution road. Why? Didn't you know it was for the federal government? But you went there to tie and now the Bini Saple Road, although it's a federal road, but that portion that is poor is on your soil. It's on your soil. So we will tell you the same thing that when you made the speech, Obaseki, you are playing politics with the Bini people. Because there are so many, so many state roads, even in Uselu, in Five Jun Junction, Opa, in Obahi. There's a lot of, lot of, Texami Road. There's a lot of road. You could have tied, but you went to tie the police barrack. And so many other things that you did. So why will you leave your state road and you go and tie? Even a road that was not even necessary because these are road inside the barrack. These are road inside the barrack. Is this a misplaced priority? Or you are playing politics? With the dolites. You see, you see, it is only the gullible beneath that will listen to you. You said you were going to provide a hundred thousand jobs for Edolites. After seven years now, you've not been able to provide one job. And when you were asked, you said it is not, it is not the capacity of the state to provide job, but to make a good environment so that job will drive. Let's take your word for it. We agree with you. It's not your own to provide job. You have to make a good environment so that jobs will drive. I just made an example. Well Road, there used to be a, Texar a Texaco. That's a gas station or what we call petrol station. I believe the petrol station closed. 
and about eight people lost their job. Why? Because that road was not motorable, and cars were not coming to use the service station. So if you know you want to create a good environment so that work will drive, don't you know that good network of roads is one of the things that will create enabling environments for businesses to drive? It's the case of Pennywise Pamphoolish. Like I said before, this video is not for Abaseki. It's for Edolites. Please, don't let this man bamboozle you. Don't let this man deceive you. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Do you know that Wiki, Wiki was a PDP man. And in one of the roads he commissioned, he made mention that he is happy to President Buhari. Because President Buhari paid states that is producing oil, lots and lots of money. The revenue allocation for oil producing state, which of course, Edo State is one of them. I think there are about six states in the south that is tagged as oil producing states. Buhari paid that money to all the states. Obaseke, what did we do with us? Buhari also said that in his eight years as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, if there's any governor that he failed to give allocation to, they should come out and say it. Which means Buhari did not fail to give allocation to any state, including Edo states. So, sir, Obaseke, what have you done with the state allocation? What have you done with the state allocation? Remember, we said accountability, transparency. It's one of the purpose of our governance. Then the revenue. Remember, we said Oshumare introduced this revenue driver for him. But the Nogara said multiplied it, doubled it. I think the revenue for the states every month was close to three billion. Every month, three billion revenue from tax. Taxing Keke Nape, taxing the market women, taxing the stores, taxing the road users. Sir, what have you done with that money? So when you talk that the federal government is playing politics with you, I'm not going to argue, yeah? Just as you're playing politics with Edolites. Same way. You're all bets of the same feather. You're all bets of the same feather. So, when a pot called a kento black, Edo people just laugh. Just imagine Obaseki telling us that the federal government is playing with the states when he is doing the same thing with Edo lights. Obaseki, in his eight years, you remember the four years he said he didn't do nothing. In these other four years, he only achieved in doing. There's only one thing that I know the Central Park. Even the Ekewan Road that, is, that he has been doing for the past six, six years, still not true. He has only achieved in increasing, reducing the number of higher institutions in the states. And those few ones left, increasing their fare. In fact, this government has been anti-people, anti edo No wonder some people say, you are a Benima, but you don't think or you don't feel like an Edolite. And that is why we will never forgive Oshomele. I love Oshomele. I love him. But he forced Obasekin on us. And after two years, he realized his mistake. He did try to remove Obasekin. But he couldn't. Although he has apologized. We've accepted it. But we we'll always remember Baba Osho. The fish you choke, you force in our throats, has left a bone, wound there. We are praying that that wound don't develop into a cancer. So please, share this video. Let it get to the hands of the governor. You have played politics with Edolite for the past seven years. We are just begging and asking God that time run fast so that we're able to pick another governor and we i am 100 percent sure no matter who we pick it will not be worse as 
God was not God with him. No one else help us again. Because a man who consciously, deliberately, intentionally sees the people as his enemy and has done everything against the people. How will you rate such a governor? I am happy. You know why I was happy? That Edolites, we have been consciously, politically oriented by Peter Gregory Obi. If it was years back, I bet you, many boys, they would have jumped into that water and begin to push the vehicle out. Hey, my leader, my leader, they would jump in and begin to push the vehicle out. But everybody was looking at him. Everybody was looking at him. And that will send a message. When you are fed the people, you are fed God. It is worse than the Ten Commandments combined together when you fed God. You know why? Because the Ten Com Commandments, four is for God. Six is for human. And that will tell you that God has so much pressure. Pressure for mankind. And any governor that has fed mankind and any governor that has failed Edolites have failed God. This is Ine TV. We are global and social commentator. We we'll ask you to please subscribe to this channel. And after you subscribe, just press the notification bell button so that each time we upload a video, it comes directly to you. And we we'll also ask you like and comment. The more like we we'll get, the more YouTube send this video across to all those that have subscribe to youtube and we also want to say for those that have been with us for close to two years and a half we'll say thank you thank you thank you remember we love you but god love you most and it is as it is the culture in this channel we'll catch you when we make the next video until then we'll say chooks au revoir ciao adios bye bye peter obi is coming thank you